This is part three of our three-part series on blogging or asset building within Brizzy Cloud. Before we talk about assets in this video, just a few observations here. The blogging feature or asset feature or custom post types, however you want to refer to it, is in its infancy within Brizzy Cloud. A lot of new features are in development, loop builders and extra elements that's going to really elevate how you build out your post types within Brizzy Cloud. And that is something to really look forward to. So make sure you subscribe to YouTube to keep up to date with new releases, as well as this playlist when we add new videos on tips and features within blogging for Brizzy Cloud. I have a complete empty project here in the cloud. And what I want to show you is if you access your CMS and you go to the blog section, this is how it looks vanilla, nothing in here. There's no post, but there is a template as how the dynamic content will be rendered. And that is done by configuring this asset. So the blog is actually an asset. And you should know from part two that you're going to get these fields and that you can scroll to the bottom and you can add more fields. This is a template and dynamic content that you're going to use in that layout. This is a great template for blogging. You have a title at the top, you have a featured image and you have an excerpt. And then many times in blogging, you bring in other images, you bring in a few other features. But many times you're going to run into a situation where you want to do something similar with dynamic content, but not the same as blogging. You want to use other fields. A very common example of that is portfolios, where people have projects, paintings, designs that they want to present in a layout separate to their blog. Another feature is review sites where people have a review that they do with the same elements that reoccur all the time and that they want to draw that in with dynamic content. How do you do that? You create a new asset for that template that is needed. And that is done here in the left with create custom assets. Go ahead, click on it, and you will see we have something very similar to the block. Give it the name at the top and we are going to create the review site. So I'll just call it review and then for the asset name reviews. And then the slug is what the little name is you want to appear in the URL at the top. And I'm going to leave that as reviews. These two cannot be changed. So you're going to have a review title, which is basically your page title and then the slug for that. You're not going to enter anything here because these are fields. Now, what I want for my review site is I want a poster image. So I need to bring in an image. I select image and I'll click here on movie poster. I'll go edit it. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, please go check out part two of blogging in Brazil Cloud. I'll call it movie poster. Is it required? Absolutely. The next thing I want is the year the movie was released in. That's a short little bit of text. So I'm going to click on text, select that. It's not a number and call this release year. Release year, year of release required, yes. Next, I'm going to bring in a rating element. And for that, I'm gonna set a number between zero to five. So I'll go to number, I'll change this to rating, and then minimum value of one and a maximum value of five. I also want to bring in the genre and that we do with the select where we already have a list of predefined genres. So I'll click here, I'll go to label, call this genre. And then from here, I'll add fantasy. And next one is adventure. And you go ahead and you add all the types of genres that you are going to be hosting on this site. And now you have created your template. And let's just go here to choose asset icon. And this is a movie review. Well, what do we? And I'm just going to choose this little icon over here. Go to the bottom, select create and continue. And then notice how it will populate here on the left. As selected, it says here, add new review at the bottom. And this is exactly the same. If we go to blog, it will just say add new post. Let's go and create one new review so we can see how this work. And I will call this one Avengers Infinity War. I'll bring in a poster. Let's 
the release year is 2018. And I'm going to give it a rating as per IMDB of 8.4, which is incredible high. So wait, that's 4.2. And then the genre, well, it can be fantasy, adventure, sci-fi. Let's go for fantasy in this case. And now we've entered those dynamic fields. So we can also put it on published here at the top and say save changes. The other thing you have to do, and this refers back to part one, is to create that global block that you're going to use for your dynamic content throughout your review pages. We can do something very basic here quickly, create your own. I'll bring in two columns. On the left, let's bring in an image. This is going to be our poster. Go to custom. Or in this case, I think I prefer to have it on original. And then I will, there we go, original. I'll grab the column to reduce the size. And then over here, we bring in a text element. And we put this one on our review title. We put it on a heading one. Next, we can bring in, let's say, two columns over here. In the first column, I'm going to bring in text. This is going to be the release year. And we can put this on a heading two. It's going to be pretty big, but that's fine. And I'll play with the padding and margins at a later time. Over here, we can bring in our rating element. And this is a pro element. Put it on the left. Go down to rating over here and select our rating. And there we go. Updates to 4.2. And as I hover over it, the tooltip appears. And the other one was genre, right? So let's bring in text for that. Select dynamic content and genre. There we go. And this one we can also probably put on a heading too. Of course, you're going to set up your typography styling the way you would and change out the color. And now we've created this template. Next step will be to go to your global blocks, select it, make it global. And you want to display it, very important, reviews, not on your blog pages. In this case, you're going to put it to reviews and I want it on all. Currently, it's only on the Avengers Affinity War page. But remember, you want it on all your pages. And you select and save, save that condition and then go ahead and build out the rest of the review down here by bringing in your comments. Everybody is interested. Let's update that. Let's go back to the CMS. Go to our blog page and notice that we have this subcategory under the block that says categories. This is a reference asset that is created and you create it just like you would create a normal asset. We'll dive deeper into this in separate videos, but what you do is you create a custom asset. And in this case, I want to create, let's say categories for the genre. So I'll go for horror and then plural will also be horror. And Go ahead and create it at the fields that you want to create. And now you see, I haven't, let me just quickly add a little icon for it as well. Put a smiley face on Jason's face. There we go. And what I want it to be is linked to the reviews. What you do is you go to reviews, click on configuration, scroll down and select reference or multi-reference. And you will choose from the option here, go to reference and select horror. And you can see once I click save and finish, it's going to populate as a subcategory. And that reviews asset that we've created is going to be listed as all reviews. With this, a lot of questions are popping into your mind. And as we build this out, more tutorials will also explain this for you. Just understand then how this block feature with the categories was created and that you can do exactly the same by using the reference and multi-reference. This brings us to the end of this three-part series in asset creation within Brizzy Cloud. I hope this has given you a good foundation to start off with. Play with it, experiment with it, and check back regularly as we bring in new features that are in development for this blogging feature within Brizzy Cloud. From me then, go well. I'll see you in the next video.